I shall never lose hope, and my people shall never lose hope. In fact, we expect that the work will go on. Off Cape Town, Robin Island had been prepared as a maximum security prison to hold a wave of political offenders. Prisoners, kept in appalling conditions, worked in the rock quarries, prey to sadistic guards. Despite these conditions, and sealed off from the outside world, Nelson Mandela grew throughout the 60s into the leading symbol of resistance in South Africa. In the early years, Winnie could visit her husband only every six months. For 20 years, they were allowed no bodily contact. Nelson wrote, Your love and support is what life and happiness mean to me. Conditions on Robben Island did not break Mandela. As the next battlefield for Nelson's spirit, the government chose the most vulnerable part of him, his wife and family. They hoped to break Nelson by breaking Winnie. Left alone in their house in Soweto, soon not able even to earn a living, Winnie had to endure slanders that it was she who had betrayed her husband to the police. Rumors were put out that she was unfaithful. There were even assassination attempts. The frail wall around the house in Soweto is a symbol of the permanent state of siege endured by the Mandela family. This wall is my little baby wall, which was built by several friends as a form of uh, protection, even though really we know that uh, if they want to do whatever they want to do, they can still do it. Uh, we had had several attempts. There had been several attempts on my life, and friends felt that uh, perhaps this wall could help. 